Protests over the last two weeks have tried tactics never seen before in Canada. Security was prepared to keep trucks away on Parliament Hill, but on the streets of the city and at border crossings, ordinary life was brought to a standstill. The question is, will authorities be better prepared next time? Because experts believe there will be a next time. The first miscalculation was thinking protesters would stay one weekend and leave. Instead, they turned their trucks into urban barricades, impossible to get by or ignore. There was nothing that indicated that it would be this level of, of interference with the normal way of life. Doug Kirkland managed security on Parliament Hill for years. Nobody's seen a demonstration like this before. At the center of government, always a potential target, security is constantly evolving. In 1989, a hijacked bus was driven onto the hill. A few years later, a man ran his Jeep up the steps of center block. 9-11 prompted still tighter security. Eventually, Parliament Hill was made off limits to all but official vehicles. That, at least, may have kept tractor trailers from steamrolling onto the hill two weeks ago. But while Parliament Hill itself was spared, protesters sealed off the main thoroughfare, Wellington Street, with trucks. And more trucks came and more streets were blocked off, protesters choking off ordinary life in the city for thousands of residents, and not just for one day. The protests have definitely created some new tactics that haven't been seen in Canada before. And I think that uh, it's a tactic that we may see grow. It didn't take long for other small groups to realize how easy it can be to gum up Canada's economic lifelines. But police learned, too. In Toronto, traffic was steered away from Queen's Park. The optics of sticking a truck in the face of government deflected. In Ottawa, one response could be as simple as putting portable barricades in place sooner and further out to discourage big rigs from being used as big props. But the issue in the capital is also jurisdiction. The bureaucracies, we certainly have them stacked up on top of each other. Federal, municipal, two provincial governments, different police forces, it seems to take so long for authorities to get together to respond. There's got to be a streamlined table. There has to be some kind of interrelationship that can be put together very quickly. Out of this may come new laws that can be applied quickly with heavier penalties, restrictions which could boomerang on so-called freedom protests. The irony of the protests is they're actually potentially going to limit uh, freedoms in the long run. Still, the protests unleashed new methods and discovered new streams of funding on social media. By any measure, one small group showed just what is possible in Canada. It may set a tone for what's to come, but uh, this was the first. 